this video, I'm going to show you one of the best passing concepts in Madden 23. We're going to be breaking down uh, the U-trips formation or why off trips pats. Let me show you one of my favorite plays right now to attack pretty much any defense. And all you really need is a tight end apprentice. If you don't have tight end apprentice, it's really not that big of a deal. Um, but the play is better with tight end apprentice. Um, so let's go ahead and get into the video. If you guys want to get my full U-trips ebook, make sure you join our Patreon. The link to sign up for that going to be in the description for just ten dollars you'll be able to get access to all of my man 23 offensive and defensive ebooks as well as all of our updates to those ebooks we have 13 offensive and defensive ebooks right now and we've been dropping new material every single week either updates or new ebooks every week since man 23 has been out so pat slot out is the play we're going to be taking a look at today and this is one of the most versatile and most powerful plays in man 23 and what we're going to do to set this play up is really the one thing is you want to have short and elite on your tight end, especially if you're a U-trips player. Um, and this post is just takes too long to get open. That's the biggest thing. So we're going to block our running back and we're going to put him on a tight end apprentice crosser. This crosser is really good. Um, and, and to illustrate this, I want to kind of try to show like a little bit of what a spinner a, a spinner type of setup would look like so let's say they're blitzing you okay and then they have maybe this guy's manned up on the tight end this guy's manned up on the running back you know maybe they're doing something you know getting adjusted with their coverage or whatever um you know but basically something like this okay i just want, to, want you to watch the tight end right off the snap um what you'll see with this tight end right off the snap is he'll instantly win um, almost every time, of course. Kyle Rudolph doesn't have the route running, but he almost always will instantly win on this this route. Um, again, specifically if there's no one in the middle of the field at the snap of the ball, this is a really, really good little read right there. See that little cut? That's all I wanted to show. So if you take a look at this crosser, and this is um, you're going to get a significantly more separation if you have like Dave Casper or Jeremy Shockey, you really any tight end with decent speed, decent route running. But again, what you'll see right here, right, right there. See that? See how that corner takes that outside step? That that happens almost every single time in this formation. So you have a quick hitting route that is going to beat man to your tight end. So what this is going to force them to do as a user, and, and again, this is not uncommon. Um, but they're going to use her and kind of funnel into this area to guard the tight end. Okay. Um, this guy is typically going to be on a hard flat because they're going to try to stop the tight end out route um, or any kind of quick flat route, which is going to then open up this post right in behind the crosser right there. And this post is really effective for beating man as well. Now this route to Scotty Miller, uh, just to illustrate this as best as I can, I'm going to put Chris Godwin there. Again, short and elite. I cannot stress the importance. It is so important um, to have short and elite on your players to get them open against man this year. But what you'll see is this route to Godwin. If you have good short route running and you might have, and you have short and elite, sometimes he'll just get kind of an instant separation. He's not going to get there. You see him light up, boom, man beater. Okay. Now, if you're playing someone that's running zone. Put him on a flat. Okay, put him on a flat. Um, so, like, for example, cover three buzz. If they're going to zone on you, you have a flat now to pull the zones down, and you can highball this post in behind this uh, the yellows. Really, really simple. Okay? Now, I will say, um, if you don't know, um, it's not the end of the world if you leave the out route. He'll get out there pretty quick still, and you can still hit this. So... You can be, you can feel comfortable to have the out route out there. But one more time on this out route, I want to show you one other thing or two other things on the out route, really. Um, so again, you'll see a lot of times he just gets separation. It's like a speed out basically. But most people, when they when they play defense this year, they're going to shade over top because they don't want to get burned over the top, right? So they're going to shade up. When they shade up, this route becomes incredibly good, um, incredibly good. He doesn't get rerouted off of his press. And when he doesn't get rerouted off of his press, he's able to light up more consistently. So you'll see here, he'll light up every single time. And then when he lights up, I don't know why I highballed that, but you can freeform it um, with an outside pass lead and pretty consistently cook 
man-to-man. Uh, -man. Boom, that right there is a great example. The speed out is so good this year. So you have the speed out, you have the tight end cross or they have to use her. Then you have the speed out and Evans if they use her in the middle of the field. Okay, so now what they're going to have to do is they're going to have to start going to zone. And you have within this play one of the best zone beating routes in the game, and that is this fade route to Miller. This fade route to Miller is really powerful against cover two. Um, a lot of times you can basically freeform this. Um, I will say because we took the tight end off of his uh, his post, it's not as good. Um, if you leave this tight end on a post here, I'll show you. This will cook cover two every time. Um, I don't know why I'm highballing stuff. Uh, but this will cook cover two if you leave the tight end on his post because the post will basically trigger a response from the deep half on the back side. So you see here, ah, I'm getting shedded. But but this, um, this, this glitchy fade is really, really powerful. So uh, let me show you it against cover two. We'll get into some of the other stuff here in just a second. But I want to show you this this um, freeform fade dot. Right when that deep half kind of turns his hips inside, you freeform outside, and you see that this can be a really good cover two bomb. Most people don't run cover two this year, however. Um, so I want to show you cover three real quick. Um, it's, it's a really good clear out route as well, but I'm telling you right now, this route just gets over zones um, better than you might think. So don't be afraid to freeform or to be able to throw this into the seam. Uh, just wanted to encourage you, don't be afraid to throw this this fade, um, especially this year with how good aggressive catching is. Um, see right there, like this happens all the time. This fade will just run by zones. It's honestly kind of random, uh, I will say. But as you see right there, really, really good. Um, cover four, right? For example, cover four, same thing. So... The grid system is going to be very advantageous because they're not going to just double team this fade. You see, see here, see how he's going to just kind of like run to the sideline. Now there, the corner played with him, but again, it's a one on one. How good is it? How and how effective are Ags this year against one on one coverage? Pretty darn effective. So you know, you see that we're able to take advantage of something like that against cover four, uh, cover three, or cover two. Okay, you can beat zone with just the fade, and then with having these backside routes. I'll show you how those impact. So you'll see here this post wide open against hard flats. If they hard flat to stop the out route, which they kind of need to do to stop the out route, then that's open. Let me show you this uh, out route if they're in a curl flat. So this is a curl flat. You're going to see that's wide open to the flat. I can take that all day. So you have that nice little two-man game on the backside. Their user has to kind of help with the crosser. Otherwise, crosser is going to be open all day long. And so what happens is basically they're going to be in the middle of the field. You have a choice. Am I going to throw? I look at the fade off rip. Um, that actually looked kind of open. My guy got bumped, um, you know, but whatever, because Ags this year are so good, right, one-on-one. -on -one. But anyways, you're going to look at the fade off rip. If that's not there or you don't like it, then you want to come back over here. So look, Lev, I don't like it for whatever reason. I'm coming right back there, and that route is going to be open probably 80, 70, 80, 70 to 80% of the time regardless of what they do defensively. This route gets in such a sweet spot against zone, especially when you pair it with a crosser. And so what you'll see here, boom, easy read. And I really like how that, that route gets open. So this U-Trips offense is really powerful because you can beat the blitz with quick hitting routes to your tight end, to your running back, right? But you also have some of the best spacing in the game to be able to attack zone uh, like we just showed you. So if you want to get my full U-Trips offensive ebook, make sure you join our Patreon. $10 will get you access to everything um, over at the Patreon page, including the U-Trips offense. And we're dropping new stuff over there pretty much every single week. So for $10, bucks, you get access to all that stuff. Thanks for watching the video, and we hope to see you over at the Patreon.